Hello everyone, Miss G here, and today I'm going to show you how to create labels in Word 2016. So you open your Word, Microsoft Word 2016, and we're going to open a blank document. Now the reason people use labels instead of uh, mail merging the envelopes is because people don't have the time to babysit the printer and put individual envelopes in the printer. It takes a long time. So a lot of times uh, workers will create labels instead of mail merging envelopes. So I'm going to show you how to create the labels. So you're going to click on the mailings tab and then from there you're going to click on the start mail merge in the start mail merge group so you click the drop down arrow and say step by step mail merge wizard and i really like to show you how to create mail merge and labels in the wizard because it's just an easier process once you understand the process you don't have to use the wizard it is totally up to you we're going to enable labels and we're going to go all the way down where it says set one of six and clicks next starting document. Okay, and now it's asking us change the document layout. We want to uh, have the label option, so click on that link. Once you click on that link, you should look for label vendor. And I usually get um, Avery. And I usually get um, 8160 Easy Peel address labels. Now, if you purchase another brand, you have to look for that, for the vendor, and then for the product. It should be on the front of your product somewhere, okay? Once you find that, then you click OK, okay? And it's going to say, it's going to delete everything in this document. And it's asking you, is that okay? And sure, it's, this document is blank, so that's fine. Okay, once we do that, we're going to go down to step two of six and click next start recipients. Okay, now, just like we did in the mail merge for the letters and for um, the envelopes, we're going to click browse and we're going to find our addresses. Now, I know my addresses are in my um, desktop in this specific folder. And you may hear my cat screaming but um please forgive me for that it's early in the morning and she's just walking around wanting some attention okay so this is my address so i'm gonna click on my addresses and click open and here are all my addresses and everything is fine here i'm just going to click okay all right now you see it says next record now what i have to do in this first label is pull in my different fields that i want to show up on all these other document uh, all these other um, labels so i'm just going to do that in the first label so i'm going to go to the right and insert fields group and click on insert merge field so i want the first name space last name okay i'm going to put an enter and i want the address enter and then i want the city comma space and i want the state space and then i want the zip code okay now that's exactly um what i want here all right so what i'm going to do it says next arrange your label so i'm clicking on that and then i have this update all labels so excuse me so if i click update all labels you see all the labels now all the fields are in in that in the other labels which is perfect and i'm going to say next preview my labels and i'm going to preview my labels and all of the names and the addresses will show up and i'm scrolling down now only thing i have to do is just print this on my labels and then um get a lower level resource to actually um to actually uh put the labels on the envelopes now i do see a mistake so let me go back and correct that previous arrange your label so i'm going to click this and what i'm going to do is because i don't like all that line spacing so i'm going to highlight 
the first label or the insured uh, merge fields. And I'm going to go to home and I'm going to make sure that I have single spacing and I do not add spaces between the paragraphs of the same style because I need it a little tighter. So you see how that just moves up and it's tighter. Now I'm going to update all my labels. Okay, and then I'm going to say next preview your labels. And you see it's it's tight. It's tighter. Okay. And I cuz I like the the name, the address and the city and state to be all single space. All right? And now from here, the only thing you have to do is complete the merge and then you have to um you can actually print. I'm not going to print here. But um, you can click print and click um, all, and but I don't really want to print this. So um, just showing you how you can do this. All right, I hope you learned something different here. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.